Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. This time it's something different. I haven't done such tutorial on my YouTube channel up until now. So this is the first time I'm doing a kind of a Patri um, signs, Mr. and Mrs. This pour is inspired with from one of my really dear friends from Instagram. She creates such beautiful um, Petri um, inspired um, keychains. Um, I will link her page in my description. You can also check her out. Um, I'm using here uh, moles I bought from Amazon. Uh, they were pretty cheap and uh, the material is also uh, not really reliable but I think for three four times this one is perfect the resin I'm using from jdiction uh, it's one to one ratio um, resin I mixed it nicely for quite some time and I put my heat radiator on so the resin is quite warm already and um, and therefore it's uh, pretty clear once I pour in all the tiny molds like they are not tiny but all the molds I will start with my alcohol inks I'll make sure that I am uh, removing those uh, bubbles which stuck at the corners. I take my toothpick and I did it off camera because I had to really go above the camera to remove them. And once they come up, I actually used an alcohol spray because I don't want to uh, damage this mold using um, heat gun or torch. And since you see me using small letters mold around it, I wanted to make sure that um, the M uh, or every shape is straight because uh, such low quality molds, they tend to, their walls are getting wobbly and uh, they are never really straight. So you can actually use additional support to make them straight. I am gonna use two colors only as an alcohol inks. Uh, one is pink. It's uh, from Pinata. They both are from Pinata. It is called um, Margarita, Senorita Margarita. And the blue one which I'm gonna use is called uh, Baja Blue. So I drop down blue alcohol inks. I will go over with my white pinata alcohol ink and just drop one drops on yeah each area. So I'm not doing two drops at the same place. Only one drop. Just want to cover all the area with white alcohol ink as well. And once I dropped all the white alcohol ink, I will go with my mica colors, um, which I mixed with the resin over the mold. I'm using four different interference colors. 
I could have used um, different mica, I could have used even a paste, but I stick to interference mica. I used blue interference mica, copper, green and violet. And with all four, I went around and I draw thin lines. I made some blobs um, on random places. I just, yeah, that's how I did it. Like, it doesn't have to be straight line. It's just, since my resin was already so thick because of the heat radiator, um, I, I was like having problem to push them down so I used on some places a lot of mica powder but that's the same process I will repeat with every other color this one was blue interference color and uh, the next ones I will do exactly the same Once I pour all the micas in the mold, I will let it sit, let it cure for 24 hours. And next day, I'm gonna demold it. It's time for demold. I actually created some keychains as well using different alcohol inks and mica. I mean, look at this. How, how beautiful. Violet, um, V for Violet. <laughs> and yeah, I. I am I'm really really happy with the outcome. I mean I like the blobs. I like those worms. I like um, I really like this uh, beautiful Petri inspired keychains. Yeah, the customers will be getting this as a free gift. I always uh, put some goodies in the orders and I especially try to create a keychain with their initial and I send them as a gift. I don't sell keychains as an extra on my Etsy shop. I just send them as a gift really. <laughs> so here's the result. I am very happy that the mold was not broken or stuck on the piece and the piece came out really like butter and look at the shine look at how clear it is look how those blobs and oh, I'm gonna do two times top coat like not two times on one side I'm gonna do both the sides top coat because I think that the alcohol inks are actually staying on the back side and I really don't like it I just when I cover it so it just yeah it doesn't get harm Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I am so happy with it. Look, these, yeah, these looks a bit, um, I don't know, creepy. I don't, I just, I really find it good. They, they, they look really good in my eyes. It's just super clear, super beautiful. I could, um, yeah, we can create such things with any different kind of color combination. But I am very happy. How do you like it? Did you? Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I mean, if I and my friend inspired you to do this, let me know in comments. And oh my goodness, I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm just so speechless and happy with this piece. It's just really wonderful. Oh, I see one bubble, but I'm gonna cover it with <laughs> top coat. Um, but yes, look at this. It's wonderful. It's really, really beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. 
I'm new to YouTube. I'm not very good at it. I don't um I don't know which time is the right time to post an algorithm and all those things about YouTube, but um I'm learning. I I am very keen to learn new things and I like it too. So Forgive me if I do mistake or if I'm not really good like other artists or other YouTube <laughs> bloggers, vloggers, sorry. Um, but I wish you a great day. I wish you good health and I see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.